Hello everybody and Happy New Year. So welcome back to Friday Souls, the first one in January. I did share my January plans video with you at the weekend so if you've not seen that check that out in my channel and yeah well I'm just back with a general sort of week of what I've been up to really. Um, I hope you're all well and I hope you've had a lovely new year and everybody's kind of getting back into being back at work and things like that. So I've been busy sewing and this is one of the fabrics that you saw, well a dress that you saw me share in my January plans. One of the things that I wanted to remake into something else and I've made it so I'm going to talk to you about this. Um, you may remember in those plans that I shared this fabric which I had decided to make a loungewear set from. So originally when I bought this fabric I'd been watching Sarah from so Sarah Sews and she had this fabric in like a brownie beige and she'd made the style arc uh, N N Nami, let me get this name right, Nomi dress um, and I really liked it and that's what made me buy the fabric and I was thinking I would make probably the dressmaker's closet Nell dress out of it and then obviously by the time I made my plans I decided to make a loungewear set and then by Sunday night I decided I was making the Nomi dress. So because I am um, a pattern insider for so over it I do have access to their patterns for free now although I know that at some point I've had this pattern in a magazine and I was watching one of um, Rowan's vlogs I said one of them I thought it was this week's and I was like it's not random she's making that dress as well and I messaged her she was like no I've made it and then I realised I was watching one from about 10 months ago Anywho, um, so I have, I'm waiting for that pattern to arrive. I've asked for that to be printed as EO, which I pay for and to come. So I have ordered a couple of other patterns, um, but I am sticking to my zero spend because obviously I don't pay for those patterns. I've ordered the bow bag and um, I've not got any immediate plans to make it. I'm just sort of thinking more ready for the summer ball. I'll probably kind of do one just to play around and practice with it before that in a different fabric and I've also ordered the Summer Dreaming ebook and um, that's got a similar dress into the style arc one that I did last summer and um, like a sundress it's got a wrap skirt a top it's got a few different things in the denim jacket that I started and stopped was out of there but I've downloaded that and then I can download all the patterns that I want to make out of that later in the year so at the moment there's only the normie dress that I want to make but yeah just to sort of tell you what I've been browsing and up to I mean it wouldn't be a week if I wasn't just browsing something I think the fact that I've not ordered any fabric or patterns in the January sale is just incredible really and I'm not sure when the new Fibre Mood will be out must be the maybe February or later this month I'm guessing it was November so maybe next month because I'll get five my five free downloads from that as well. Check me out, aren't I being all planned and organised? So I just wanted to say thank you for everybody who contributed. I should have done a vote. It probably would have been easier if I'd done that on whether I should put buttons on my pink jacket or not. But overwhelmingly the vote was yes. Put buttons on from one at the top to one all the way down to do this, do that. I, I, so many comments, I really appreciated them all. Um, and I've gone with buttons so I'll drop a picture in of that that is now finished um, and ready to wear and the other thing that I was finishing off from last week was the jumper dress where the neckband had just gone Bleh. I mean that's how it looked Bleh. Um, so that's now finished as well well I'm saying that that's a bit of a lie it's work in progress so I'll share you a picture of that um, because it's nearly finished so I'll share you a picture and I'm really hoping it's all right otherwise I'll be apologizing for that next week won't I that'll look really rubbish so yeah it might be a bit of a short and sweet one from me today I've been cutting things out and um, so I have cut out the um, Jackson toile in the black with the multicoloured leopard print fabric so that's a rehash of a dress into that toile a, co a couple of people said size down by one and somebody said make the same size so I've gone down by one size but that's the point of it being a toile isn't it so I can see what the sizing's like on that um, and was there anything else I cut out? No, I think this was the other thing. Oh, yeah, and I was busy yesterday because I was so late and I apologised to um, the two lovely ladies that were waiting, but I gave two prizes and a gift in November and I just completely lost... 
I think because I was doing Vlogmas, I just lost all track of time and then I missed the Christmas post. So I was getting them all packaged up and ready and they've gone off in the post. In fact, by the time you see this, they should have received those. Um, so they're nice, nice fabrics that well I wouldn't pick horrible fabrics as I'm sure that you could guess so what else have I done I had a lovely day off on Tuesday um which I was making this and I did my nails and if you do subscribe to my other channel I've got a new nail kit like lamp the whole thing um and I did these they're quite a nude color for me and I talk you through kind of my process the unboxing of it so I'll drop a link into that if you're interested in that um because I know there was somebody who definitely said I didn't know you could do your own nails the other day um so if you are interested then yeah check that out but otherwise that's a nice simple week isn't it for me really I mean where we are we're on six minutes what's going on I mean I could chat a bit more but yeah it's been quite a a chilled week of course we had new year um oh, we went out for afternoon tea on new year's eve to spanish city i'll drop some pictures in of that and some footage and um, the christmas tree might be down by now or it will be later this week and um, but it was beautiful but i'm, I'm just ready to lose more weight um so let me talk to you about about this dress so so it is the indigo by Tilly and the Buttons, which I've made, I don't know, 14 of now, I think. Um, usually I make this full length. You'll note me saying usually. I'm not going to lie. I've had a little kind of, not confidence crisis, of more of a confidence of what suits me. I think because I've been living in those jumper dresses for months and I really like them and I feel kind of a bit not on trend but you know what I mean like they are on trend that I do love my like layered loose look but I think I'm, I'm I know that I'm ready for a change and when I put this I made it and it's gone together beautifully so I made it I remeasured and went back to a size six I think I'd kind of gone up to about an eight or a nine in this and um, so I did it as a size six I always lengthen the top bodice part by about a month uh, a month by a month by an inch um and that fit has always worked well for me so i feel that it fits me really well i did get the pattern out for the sleeves and had a look at the fit and rejigged the pattern and then when i took these out i thought actually looking at the sleeve head i think these will go into it okay and they have so um if you can see here there's a little bit of gathering not an awful lot but then you've got this sort of billowy cuff so this was off the dressmaker's closet dress i'm sorry i can't remember the name of now how bad's that my memory's absolutely terrible so I, I just rehashed the sleeves and gathered in and fitted those in really nicely but i did feel like around the waist and i know it's supposed to be a smock dress but it was a bit loose and i wanted it to be a little bit more fitted so from the darts to the waist i've graded it into a size five but apart from that it's a six the skirt um with the skirt pattern on this hang on a sec let me see if i can find it easily probably not let me just pull it all out this might be it so i just followed what i'd obviously done for a while so this has been cut out on a six but at some point I've obviously decided I didn't want to make it as gathered and if you can see that sorry I've got my face out so if it'll focus I've sort of graded it up to a size three at the waist so it is gathered slightly around the waist as you can see but not hugely so it's not got as much poofiness poofiness is that a word i will drop some pictures in because the other thing to say is look it's short and it's deliberately short because i was kind of i tried it on and i like i tried it on at different stages for the bodice fit how the sleeves went in and that was funny because i put it on and i was thinking oh my god what's wrong with this and the bobbin thread had run out on this sleeve from here to here so there was just this gap and hole at the top so i had to kind of re put all the gathering in um but i just 
I don't know, when I made it, I just thought, I don't think I want to kind of make that full length. Partly that might be because it's made out of needle cot, so it's not got the, the drape of a, a cotton lawn or a viscose, which I'm quite used to. Um, but I don't know, I think I'm just starting to go through that, what might I want to be wearing in the future sort of mindset. Um, but I'm really pleased with it. So it's below my knee. It would never be above my knee. It feels a little bit playful at this length. Um, I could still wear a jumper or something under it or a cardigan with it. Great. Obviously, it's a winter sort of dress anyway with thick tights or black leggings. So I'm happy with it as is. I have got enough fabric that I'd, if I later decide to add a ruffle on, I can. But I'm happy with the length of it. So when I was looking in my drawer to see if I still had that um, sew over it pattern for the normie dress, I came across this pattern here. Now it's not a, well, I don't think it's gonna get made this month, but it might do, who knows, um, from a magazine. It's a Simply Sewn pattern um, and it's some clots. And I thought, yeah, like this look here, the full length with the jumper, I quite like the vibe of that. I feel like, that's maybe a bit of me at the moment. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pleats at the front, but my shape's changed, so maybe I might be. I have got some black with a white spot fabric, which is a viscose I think I got from First for Fabrics, and I've got black jumpers and things, although I'm trying not to wear black, but you know what I mean. Um, that I was thinking I maybe could make those out of, although if I open this packet and it's one that you have to trace, this might not happen. I might look for a different one. Um, there may be something on the Sew Over It website that I could have a look at as well. I just thought, not this one where they cropped. Obviously, that's a bit more of a summer look. And I, didn't, I don't know how, I think because the T-shirt's out on that, the proportions look a bit out. I kind of like a cropped top. I'd probably put a vest underneath it so when I sat down you didn't see all my undies and stuff. Um, but this one here, I like the look of that. So there might be an edit to the January makes, I'm not sure. But I like the look of that. I'm just kind of, where's my vibe? If you know, let me know, because I don't know yet. But I'm thinking, that's dangerous, I know. So I'll say goodbye. Thank you for joining me again today, because I honestly do really appreciate it. I love the comments. There was an awful lot of comments about the buttons, but I think I've re replied to everybody. I do try my best to do that. Um, and if you are kind of going down different patterns and routes and, you know, what do you want to wear or what you're going to wear? I mean, I always say to people, go to the shops and try things on, see what you like yourself in. So maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need a, not a shopping trip to buy, but a shopping trip to try on. But that won't be happening anytime soon because tomorrow I'm out where am I at I'm out at work in the morning and then I'm out doing some sort of slim world like prom well it's promotion but we're collecting for the food bank and just talking to people who were bringing obviously donations in in a shopping centre near us and then I'm out with um, some members from my group for an 80s night, it's like our Christmas night tomorrow night, and then I'm up for Sawtoon the next morning. Probably won't drink tomorrow night, I'm not really fussed about it. Um, but I'm looking forward to a bit of a boogie, and I don't know what I'm going to wear. I've just suddenly gone, hmm, don't know what I'm going to wear. Um, but yeah, yes, I do know. I think I'll probably wear my black pleated skirt, which I've worn every time I've gone out lately, and probably my black sparkly t-shirt that I've just made because they look really nice together in my biker jacket and boots. There we go, outfit sorted for tomorrow night. Check that out on Instagram, I'll pop a picture on there. So yeah, by Monday, Tuesday, well, I'll be ready for a rest. Never mind, life's for living, isn't it? So have a lovely weekend, happy sewing, and I will catch up with you soon.